Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another anointed week here Amen. on the Victory Channel and another edition of Morning Prayer. I am your host this morning, Tim Fox. I am joined by my good friend, Pastor John Jester. Hey, How are you this morning? I'm great, man. I'm ready to pray. Was it hard for you to get out of bed? This no, morning? no, oh, not at you're all. You're a morning guy. I know. I've been around you enough to know you are a morning guy. I am. You are a morning guy. And we are joined also this morning by Catherine Hanley, who is behind us in the aisle with our anointed prayer ministers. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning. <laughs> I am so honored and happy to be with you guys this morning. And you know, on the way here, I was just reminded, and you know, they say it in the intro to the show, but I was reminded of the fact that Brother Copeland entered into a covenant with God Amen. to pray for you yes, every single right. day. And I was just getting stirred up and excited. I'm so excited to pray with you, to join my faith with yours at home, wherever you are. Amen. So we're really excited for what God is going to do this morning. Amen. Thank you, Catherine. Now, those anointed prayer ministers, they're going to be answering the phones all morning this morning and all day today. So here's That's the number right. you call, 877-281-6297, 877-281-6297. That'll get you in here. If you can't get in, just keep calling because the phone lines start to jam pretty early. I want to start this morning with a scripture. If you are a partner with KCM, you get a partner letter every month uh, from Brother Copeland. And at the bottom of his partner letter, he includes a bunch of scriptures that he prays over all of us every day. I want to read you one of those scriptures this morning to get us going. This is from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. This is our prayer, Brother Copeland's prayer for all of you. I pray that God, the source of hope will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. That is something that is prayed over you each and every day as a partner of this ministry. Amen. And we're praying it over, this, over you this morning. So that's our prayer for you as we get going this morning. Now, I think Zuri's got some prayer requests she's going to be bringing in here. And we'll start reading these. Uh, Catherine, I bet you've already got some over there. Why don't you start us off I this do, morning? I do. I do. Well, I actually want to start us off with a testimony. You know, Glory the word says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. And Dora from Lancaster prayed with us last week and said she got a break breakthrough in her legal case. So we are praising God with you, Dora. That is amazing. And she also requested prayer for favor during a meeting. I have Lisa from Portsmouth uh, believing for her son for deliverance from drugs. He's suicidal. You know, we, we talk about Isaiah chapter 53 a lot about how Jesus bore our sin um, and our, our shame, but he also bore the chastisement of our peace. So Lisa, right now we are agreeing with you in prayer for deliverance for your son. Father, I thank you that it is done you, in the name babe. of Jesus. Thank we have you. Peggy from Charlotte, North Carolina, believing for a debt-free car and a debt-free home. The Bible says to know, owe no man nothing but to love him. So we are standing in agreement with you, Peggy, concerning your debt freedom. Hallelujah. We have Cheryl from Utah, Alabama, believing for her family, for financial provision, debt freedom, and a new home. Cheryl, we're in faith with you concerning that. And then we have Pamela from Pittsburgh, Texas, believing for protection over sisters who are nurses. So Pamela, right now, Father, I thank you for song 91 protection. Your Hallelujah. word says in Psalms 91 that you have commanded your angels concerning us to guard us in all of our ways, that we won't even strike our foot against a stone. So we are commissioning those angels to you, Pamela, and believing for Psalm 91 protection in the name of Jesus. Amen. Back to you guys. Amen. Now keep calling 877-281-6297. 877-281-6297. As we read these this morning, this came to me as we were doing the program Friday. I'm going to read these as they are, they are your confession and we're going to agree with your confession of whatever you're believing for. So Gloria, we're believing with your confession that that abscess tooth is healed and your mouth is healed in Jesus name. We also have this morning, uh, Mary, we're believing God for healing and res restoration for your neighbor and comfort for your sister. And I, we're going to start getting a lot of these people calling in for other people. And that's what this program is all about. It's not about what we can get for ourselves. It's what we can help believe God for others. So Mary called in for a friend this morning. Diane, we're, we're agreeing with your confession that your healing in your spine is, 
in, is coming in Jesus name. Maggie blessing her new home and her husband is delivered in his soul. Beverly uh, healing from stroke for her son-in-law. We're agreeing with your confession this morning, Beverly, that your son-in-law is healed. And Pat healing for herself from shingles and a friend from COVID-19. We're believing God that that's done in Jesus name. Go ahead, John. Amen. Janice from Redford, Michigan is praying for Philip and Ruth to be healed of COVID-19 and for herself for total body restoration. Janet, we come into agreement with you right now in Jesus name. Alice in Middleton, Indiana is praying for total body healing and restoration of a condition that she's dealt with for two years. Father, right now in Jesus yes. name, I thank, thank you, you that the life source thank of that you, condition Father. is cut off in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. And Father, I thank you for quick restoration and that you're restoring the years to her now in yes. Jesus name. Yes. Alice, you are free in the name of Jesus. Yes. Cedric yes. in Taylor, Michigan is praying for wisdom. And we have Sonia in Virginia Beach, Virginia praying for salvation for a friend. Father, we pray that you would thank send you, laborers Father. across thank that, uh, across their path. Father, I pray yes. for wisdom and understanding. And Lord, I pray that the gospel would be preached and that that gospel would be the power unto salvation. Father, Hallelujah. thank you Hallelujah. for that. Kim in Indianapolis is praying for healing for her brother and her nephew's mind. And Denise in Dallas, Georgia is praying for James and Jessica. Father, you know what's going on with James and Jessica. Yeah. So whatever it is, Lord, I pray Glory. that the power of God would yes. touch them yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to, we've got a digital download. I'm going to give John the opportunity to give you that in just a minute, but uh, I'm going to read a few more of these. Kathy, her daughter's marriage and his addiction and violence. We take authority over that addiction and that spirit of violence. Yeah. And we think that marriage is restored. Yes, it is. It's restored. And it's healthy in Jesus' Thank name. You, Jesus. Deborah from Rock Hill, South Carolina, pain in chest when breathing. Thank you, Father, that we agree with Deborah that the pain in her chest is gone and she breathes normally and cleanly. Oh, a good deep breath in Jesus' name. Janet, our neighbor's salvation and healing. Uh, Cheryl, oppression for her, for her son uh, and for he would stay strong in the Lord. So we thank you, Father. We agree with Cheryl in Jesus' name. Thank you. Uh, Delia uh, from Ohio, health and protection. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Uh, Tova from Gainesville, healing for her son and her daughter's hearts. Thank you, Father, for their healing in their hearts in Jesus' yes. name. I don't know if that's just a, a physical healing or maybe even just a spiritual healing, but whatever it is, God's got it in Jesus' name. And we thank you for that, Father. Ruth from West Virginia, healing, especially from severe headaches. Thank you, Father. Those headaches are gone in the name of Jesus. Uh, Karen from Denton, healing for loved ones. We thank you, Father, for Karen's loved ones. Marvis from Kansas, healing for her cousin. And uh, Charlia from North Carolina, supernatural debt cancellation. Boy, we agree with that in Jesus' name. Yes, God. we do. <laughs> Ruth in Lawton, Oklahoma is praying for healing for her husband. Ruth, thank you for ca calling in for your husband. And we come into agreement with you right now over your husband that he is healed and restored. Lord, I thank you yes. for that quick yes. healing for Ruth and her husband. Yes. Um, a lady in North Liberty is praying for healing. We come into agreement with that right now in the name of Jesus Christy in Earlsville, Virginia is praying for healing from vertigo. Father, in Jesus Glory. name, I thank you that you restore her Glory. balance and that any sign of that vertigo is absolutely gone Glory. in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Let's go over to Catherine because I know that she's got a whole lot in her hand over there, Catherine. I do. I have a lot of prayer requests and as you guys can see, our prayer minister's phones are going off. We've got calls coming in. We want to remind you to call in, join your faith with ours. We want to pray and stand in agreement with you. That number is 877 877-281-6297. If you can't get through, keep calling in. We have anointed prayer ministers who are here to pray the word of God concerning your situation. I have Christine from Ocala, believing for favor for her house to sell, for debt freedom and for healing. Christine, we're standing in agreement with you in the name of Jesus. I have Sue from Lancaster, believing for healing for her mom, herself, and Matthew's salvation. Amen. We know that, that salvation is ours when we call in the name of Jesus. So right now I stand in faith concerning her son um, and her mom. 
I have Pamela from Pittsburgh in Texas, uh, believing for protection over sisters who are nurses. Right now, I know we have so many people on the front lines in our healthcare system, um, believing God and 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 you know and, and uh, confessing the word of God over all the people who are coming in with COVID-19. So I just want to take some time and pray over our health uh, officials right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you that Psalm 91 protection belongs to us, Father. So I we stand in in faith concerning your word, God, that you the nurses, the doctors, the health officials, God, those in our hospitals who are, are ministering your healing power, God, to people. Father, we thank you for your protection in their lives, God, for your protection over them. And Father, Lord, we know that, that you are keeping them safe in this time as they do your work and your will. I have Tony from Elkins uh, believing for Tammy for deliverance from pain in her left rib cage. I have Stella from Brown City, Michigan, believing for her grandson, his uh, Tom, he broke his leg. Stella, we're standing in faith with you concerning his healing. I have Richard from Rockwood, believing for healing for his wife from a chronic issue that she's had since she was a teenager. Richard, we are standing in faith with you this morning. What else do you guys have? Glory to God. I have John in Hoover who's praying for kind of a, a list of things. He wants to pray for his son to be restored to the family, for protection, for salvation, and for healing. John, from one John to another, Amen. I want to let you know about our free digital download today. It is uh, Brother Copeland's teaching, Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled. John chapter 14, John, John chapter 14, uh, <laughs> says that you, for you to let not your heart be troubled because of your faith. You believe in God, believe also in the power of Jesus. So any, any, anyone who's dealing with uh, several things, you know, your heart could be troubled. I want to encourage you to go and download download that free digital download. John, right now, I'm praying Thank for John. You, I pray that his Thank family you, would be restored Thank for you, protection, Father. God, for salvation in Jesus, you, Jesus name. But Lord, more than anything, I pray that you would guard John's yes, heart yes. through the promise of yes. your word, Father, that you would keep his heart and his mind, Father, that you would keep his heart and his yes. mind, that he would be in perfect peace as his heart and his mind are stayed on you Thank in you, Jesus' Father. name. Thank you, Amen. Father. Glory to God. Glory from Preston, believing God for a creative miracle in her arm. Yes. Lori, all of us here, all of our partners and friends that are watching us around the world, we're all in agreement that there's a creative miracle in your arm in Jesus' name. Bernice from Jacksonville, she wants her, uh, praying for her niece to be healed. Thank you for her niece in Jesus' name. Uh, Maria and John, uh, stiffness in joints and pain. We think of those joints, they loosen up, Father, and the pain yeah. yes. goes away yes. in yes. Jesus' name. Barbara from Jesus. Maryland, healing. Thank you for Barbara. Uh, Emma from Tennessee, upper back pain. Thank you, Father God, that that upper back pain is gone from Emma in Jesus' name. Patricia from Atlanta, uh, persecuted church in, in China. She wants to pray for the churches in China. Ooh, That's a really God. good one. I thank you, Father God, for those yes. churches in China. Thank Father, you, I thank Father. you that they're protected, Father, yes, they are. and that they're able to share the Word of God yes, they and are. make a difference, Father, in that country. In Jesus' name. Thank Janet you, from Elkhart, debt cancellation for her daughter. We thank you for that, Father. That's done. Thank Marvel you. from Florida, healing free from virus in Jesus' name. I don't know if it's the COVID or whatever. Whatever virus it is, it's a, it's a name and it's a name under the name of Jesus, so it's cursed in Jesus' name. Susan from Pennsylvania, healing from a hernia. Thank you, Father God. We agree with Susan. Her confession of faith is healing from hernia in Jesus' name. Praise God. I have a testimony here. Kaylin uh, in Boone can breathe better. She's healed from all of her breathing issues. Kaylin, we thank, we praise God. Let's just take a moment. Father, Hallelujah. thank you so thank much you, for Father. answered prayer request. Yes. God, when we pray to you, yes. we can expect an answer. Yes. Father, thank yes. you. We're celebrating yes. with you this morning, Kaylin. Angela yes. in Clarksville, Arkansas is praying for marriage restoration. Father, I pray over that family. Marriage is your design. It is your institution. And so, Father, we turn all the care over that, over for that marriage, over onto you. And Father, we thank, thank you, you that the power of God is working in Angela's family. I have yes. Diane in yes. Mesa, Arizona, yes. who's praying for healing for Donna for shingles. Father, right now we come into agreement for healing for shingles. And Lord, we thank you for your, your healing her body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. You know, the word of God says that he healed them all. And so all. Father, right now we take yes. that for her in Jesus name. And Wallace in Stolito, Mississippi is praying for debt freedom and every financial provision. Father, I thank you thank right you. now thank in Jesus Father. name that thank Wallace you, is uh, provided for that that all of his, his needs are provided according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Catherine, what do you got over there? 
Um, thanks, Pastor John. I have Patricia from Buffalo believing for her leg to grow back out to its original length. Amen, Patricia, we are believing with you. I have Shara from El Reno believing for her daughter to have peace um, over her household and her finances. And Cartes right here from Fort Worth, Texas, uh, for Linda to be healed and totally delivered from mental and emotional issues to come home. She has been in a mental facility for over 20 years. You know, Cartes, I was just reminded of this. Brother Oral Roberts would say this all the time. He would say, expect a miracle. God's not nervous. He's not on the throne wondering what he's gonna do. He's already made up his mind concerning your healing and the healing of, of Linda. And so we are standing in faith. We know that he is a God of miracles, who does miracles. He's still in the healing business. So we're believing for healing and victory in that situation in the name of Jesus. I have Tracy believing for healing from her cancer and her son's uh, Dylan's freedom. Tracy, we're standing in faith with you. Barbara from Mobile believing uh, and praying for encouragement for her and her husband. I don't know what the situation is there, Barbara, but God is a God of restoration. And so, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are restoring marriages. Father, you are bringing back into alignment all things, God, because you perfect that which concerns us. So we thank you for Barbara, Lord, and we're standing in faith with her concerning her and her husband. Uh, we have Tina from Stanford believing for her son. He has depression and mental issues. You know, depression, mental issues, anxiety, all those things are under the name of Jesus. And while the enemy may come to steal, kill, and destroy, God came, Jesus came, that we might have life and have it abundantly. We just celebrated Easter a few weeks ago, and you know what? We don't just have eternal life, but we have abundant life right here on earth. And so, Tina, we're standing in faith with you concerning that. I also have Helga from Clymer believing for healing for self herself and her friend in the hospital and financial breakthrough. Amen. We're believing that with you, Helga. And I have Edna from Hazleton believing for healing. Amen. Back to you, Tim. All right. Thank you, Catherine. Now we want to encourage you to keep calling 877-281-6297. 877-281-6297. If you can't get through on the first try, keep trying. There are a lot of people trying to get in, but we'll get you in. I promise we'll get you in and you'll get prayed for. These prayer ministers are here praying all day. Well, even after we go off the air here in just Amen. a few minutes, they're still here all day. So keep praying because that's why we're here. We're here to pray with you and for you and agree with you because we want you to know God did not leave you in this thing by yourself. So we're in this thing together, all Amen. of us together, just like Emma from Ohio called in uh, for blood pressure and ringing the ears and salvation for children. Thank you, Father God, for Emma's prayer request. Blood pressure be normal. Ringing in ears, be gone in Jesus' name. Christina from Terre Haute, healing for her lungs. Thank you for that healing in her Thank body. You, Lord. Joan, healing in her hip. Thank you for her hip being healed. Diane from Georgia, believing for provision for a friend. Thank you for Diane's friend, Father. You know who she is or he is. And so we thank you for provision for that friend. Dennis from North Highland, salvation for his neighbors. Thank you for Dennis's neighbors. Father, we ask that you send laborers across their path in Jesus' name yeah. and that they come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, Cindy, uh, Cinda from De Des Moines, her brother, freedom from addiction and that he will contact his family. Father, we come into agreement right now with Cinda. We thank you that her brother is free from whatever addiction that he's dealing thank with in his Lord. life. We break that addiction in Jesus' name. We break the power of that addiction over his life. And we thank you that he will contact thank his you, family in Jesus' yes, name. Yes. Debbie from Kansas, lifting up her brother, Junior, for healing uh, from cancer. Thank you that the life force in cancer is gone in Jesus' name. And Donna from Alabama, she just called in for healing. We thank you for Donna's healing Praise in Jesus' God. name, John. You know, Tim, I have a prayer request here. Michelle in Texas is praying for healing for her husband, Charles, who has surgery this morning at 1030. Donna, uh, Michelle, yes. I want to let yes. you know, I want to remind you of something. We had a woman call in for morning prayer to get prayed for, was taking her husband for surgery and ended up not needing the surgery. Right. So Father, right now, I pray for that Thank same you. quick answer for Michelle. Father, I pray for her husband in that surgery. Whatever's happening, whatever's going on, Lord, that you are the great physician and your operation already took place, that you've already solved whatever it is that's, ha that's happening in his body. So Thank Father, you, I pray Father. for a quick Thank restoration you, right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Now, Michelle, we're looking for that yes. testimony. Yes. Jean, in blood 
Blair, Virginia is praying for diabetes. Lily in Powder Springs, Georgia is praying for her brother's healing. He's in the hospital. He's being tested for COVID-19. Father, right now in Jesus' name, I take hold with against uh, Lily in Jesus' name yes. in Georgia. Yes. And I add my faith yes. to hers, Father, that, yes. th that this disease leave his body. Father, that the tests come back ne uh, po uh, not, not positive, yes. that he does not have COVID-19. And Father, I thank you for that healing in the name of Jesus. Paula in Pennsylvania is praying for her daughter and her sister to be healed. Paula, yes. we're in agreement yes. with you. Sue in Rochester, yes. Illinois is praying for her yes. grandson and her daughter uh, being tested for the, uh, for the virus and they're praying for a good report. We say that you have a good report in Jesus' name. And Glenda in Liberty is praying for her thank healing you, for her spine and her hips. Father, yes. I thank you that yes. you're making every cricket place straight, no broken bones in the name yes. of Jesus. Every muscle yes. is operating the way it's supposed to be operating and that there's complete healing and yes. no pain in her hips and her spine That's right. in Jesus' That's name. That's right. Let's go back over to Catherine. Catherine, tell us what you have over there. Yes, well, Pastor John was just sharing with us some testimonies. I have another testimony from Gloria in Lynn. She called last week and had an abscess tooth and God healed it. So we are praising God with you, Gloria. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony. You know, we have piles and piles of prayer requests. We don't always get to hear back, but we know that prayer works and prayer is powerful. And so we're so happy to hear that prayer is working on your behalf, that the Lord is moving in your life. I have Anita from Chester, Pennsylvania, believing for her healing to manifest and healing for her brother's eyes. I have Noreen in Tennessee, believing for God's will for a man who stopped to help them. We know that, what, that, that you know, in the Bible, it talks about how pray for others that you might be healed. And so we know that by praying for other people, you know, that healing comes back on us. And so just as this man helped you, we're believing for God to help him, for his perfect will to be revealed in the name of Jesus. I have Edna from Danville believing for healing. Um, I have Shelly from Plainfield uh, believing uh, for a new believer, Christopher. Father, right now, Lord, we lift Christopher up to you, Father. I thank you that you are revealing yourself to him, Father. More of your glory, more of your power, more of your presence in his life, God. And I thank you that he is going to be used in mighty ways to further your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Um, I have uh, Matamanu from Irving, California believing for protection. She is a nurse in a COVID unit. We are standing in faith with you concerning um, your protection, your healing, your, your sustained protection in this time. And I also have Adolph from Oklahoma City believing for employment and healing. Adolph, thank you so much for calling in. We are believing for employment and healing in your life in the name of Jesus. Again, guys, please continue to call in. We want to join our faith with yours. The number is 877-281-6297. Back to you, Pastor John. Praise God. Hey, I want to remind you about our free digital, down, the free digital download, Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled by Brother Copeland. You can get it by going to govictory.com slash morning prayer. That's it's for everyone who's watching. And it's, it's so that you can renew and regenerate your faith in rolling the care of everything, anything that's going on yeah. in your life Amen. over onto the Amen. Lord, specifically for Paula in Pennsylvania. She's praying for deliverance for a friend and that that friend is in wrong lifestyles and that friend's dealing with homosexuality. Paula, right now in Jesus' name, I come into agreement with you for the deliverance of yes. your friend. Yes. Father, I thank you yes. for that deliverance, for that quick deliverance and God for restoration in Jesus name. Now, Paula, Holy. you go download this free digital download. Yep. Let not your heart be troubled and learn Amen. to roll that care over onto the Lord because God's already operating on your behalf. Absolutely. Amen. Also, if you don't already have it, download our app the Go yes. Victory app, because you can yes. take us wherever you go, uh, wherever you're going, car, uh, shopping or whatever, you can take us with you with that app. So download the Go Victory app so that you can, if you happen not to be at home during morning prayer or Victory Update or whatever, you can watch on the app. Let's read a few more of these before we have about six minutes left on the program, about Amen. five minutes actually. Macklin from Alabama, healing in his spine. Thank you, Father, for that spine healing. Cynthia from North Carolina, husband, colon surgery Thursday. Father, we thank you. John just talked about someone who went, had to go to the doctor and when they got there, they said, yeah. no surgery needed. No We're surgery. believing God for that in Jesus name Thank for you, that uh, surgery for Thursday. Yeah. Sylvia from Pennsylvania, blood sugar. Those are normal levels in Jesus name. Uh, Linda from Prairie Village, healing from cancer and urinary infection. Thank you, Father, that Linda is healed. 
from cancer and that infection. In Jesus' name, Thank all of that must Lord leave. Jesus. In Jesus' name, Thank Sonia, you, healing in her head. Thank you that Sonia's head is healed. Yes, in is. Jesus' name. Mary from New Mexico, four-year-old granddaughter was bit by a dog and she's believing God for a full healing. We thank you, Lord, yes. for that four-year-old child. Thank, thank you, you that she is co completely, completely and totally healed completely. from that dog bite and no adverse effects fr from that, both physically or mentally in Jesus' name. Catherine from Virginia, healing for a friend that tested positive for COVID-19. We thank you, Father, that that friend is healed. Uh, Lisa from Papano Beach, healing manifestation uh, from coughing and wheezing. Thank you, Father God, that Lisa has clear lungs clear. and that the coughing is gone and the wheezing is gone in Jesus' name. Kurt from Weldon, healing from cancer, prepping for surgery now. Oh, Father, we thank you for Kurt. The cancer, Father, that dries up and yeah. the surgery, if it's necessary, will go well. We thank you, yes. you guide the doctor's hands in Jesus' name. Thank Beverly you, from Richfield, fa Father's healing and John and Pamela's walk with the Lord. Thank you for that in Jesus' name. We agree with Beverly. Father. Praise God. We got Albert from Canada. Thank you for calling us from Canada. He's praying for healing for prostate uh, and knees and his blood sugar. Father, right now we come into agreement with Albert and we say that he is healed from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Lord, I thank you for healing Albert in Jesus' Jesus name. Doris in London in the UK. Thank you for calling us from London is praying for healing and for peace for Solomon. Father, right now we pray and intercede for Solomon and we say that the peace of God reigns and rests in Solomon's life in the name of Jesus. Helen in Las Vegas is praying for healing for her back and her legs and protection for her son. Uh, Onar in Newark, Delaware is praying for a friend, his friend Misty and Brian uh, to continue conceive and have a baby. Father, right now in Jesus' name, we thank you that family is your institution. You believe in family. And so Lord, right now, I pray for an anointing for a family for these yes. folks in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Rios in Florida is praying for favor over their ministry. Valerie in Geneva is praying for healing for, their, for her mom and for finances for herself. Beth in Mount Pleasant is praying for healing. Janet in Mount View is praying for salvation for Kathy. I'm telling you, the prayer yes. requests just keep yes, coming. Joyce do. in Donaldsville, Louisiana is praying for healing. Connie in Leeburg, Indiana is praying for her son, Danny, who's in the hospital. Father, right Thank now you, in Lord. Jesus' name, we pray over every one of those prayer requests. You know exactly what's happening in each one. And so, Lord, we pray for the power of God yes. to manifest yes. in Jesus' name. All right, we're going to go back over to Catherine one more time. Let her read a few more, and then we'll come back and close things out. Catherine? Amen, amen. Well, it's getting loud. It's still loud over here. It's been loud all morning um, as our prayer ministers stand in faith with you. So please keep calling in. Please keep sending in your prayer requests. Even after we go off the air, these anointed people are still here to pray with you all day. I have Alan from Las Cruces, believing for healing. I have Elaine from Denham Springs, Louisiana, believing for healing from a hernia. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you that you are a healing God. You are a God whose will is a healing for us 100% of the time. So we're standing with you, Alan and Elaine for your healing. I have Brenda from Buckhannon, West Virginia, believing for Eddie. I don't know what's going on with Eddie, but Father, right now, I, Lord, I thank you that you are encountering him with your Holy Spirit, Father, that he will sense you tangibly in this moment, Lord, that he'll know that you are the way, the truth, and the life, Father, and that you have come to give him life abundant. And Father, Lord, we thank you. God, we have Francis uh, calling in from Powell, Tennessee, and she's coming into agreement for her son-in-law to get the job that he applied for. So we Lord, we thank you, God, that you are moving in in his life. Hey. Back to you guys. All right, Captain, we're going to pray over these as we go out. I want to yes, remind you to join us this afternoon at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central for Victory Update. And also this Thursday begins our virtual victory campaign right here at KCM and EMIC. So make sure you put that on your calendar starting Thursday night at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, right here at KCM EMIC. We're going to pray over these as we go out and you agree with us and we'll join us again tomorrow here at 930 Eastern. Go ahead, John. Lord, right now in Jesus' name, we thank you for the power of God moving on these prayer requests. Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God.